Good morning. Today is Doctrine and Covenants section 109, verses 53 to 65. And in these verses, um, it's talking mostly about the gathering of Israel, redemption of Jerusalem. Um, and there are two quotes, but they're fairly long. Uh, one is by Joseph Fielding Smith, and then there's one by Joseph Smith, and then Ezra Taft Benson. Okay. The first one concerns verse 62, um, by Joseph Fielding Smith, that Jerusalem from this hour may begin to be redeemed. The Lord has made great promises both to Israel and the Jews, and concerning Jerusalem and its temple. Jerusalem, when Christ comes, is to be a holy city again. Another temple will be built, and Israel will be cleansed from all their sins. And then he quotes Ezekiel, and then he quotes Isaiah. It's, it's just too long. It's too much scripture at this point in time. Rough night's sleep. Gonna move on. Okay. The children of Judah may begin to return. The tribe of Judah will return to old Jerusalem. Judah shall obtain deliverance at Jerusalem. Um, these are testimonies that the good shepherd will put forth his own sheep and lead them out from all nations where they have been scattered in a cloudy and dark day to Zion and to Jerusalem. And that was Joseph Smith. And then Ezra Taft Benson. This great event is one of the signs of the times and is very important. It seems to me particularly to all Christian people. It is transpiring in a small strip of country about 110 miles long and 50 to 60 miles wide in an area about the size of the state of Vermont. The number of Jews has multiplied in recent years in this area in a rather remarkable manner. Plans are underway for the incorporation of about a million and a half more during the immediate months ahead. And projected plans call for an eventual population of some 4 million in this area. This miracle of the return of the Jews was to be one of the events to precede Christ's second coming, and the scriptures are very clear with reference to this fact. The, book, the prophets of the Book of Mormon even more clearly predict the conditions under which they will gather. These prophets also foresaw the time when they would begin to believe Jesus Christ that the kings of the Gentiles would be as nursing fathers and their queens nursing mothers in helping to bring about their return. These prophets make it clear that eventually the, f the fullness of the gospel will be carried to Jerusalem and to the descendants of Judah, and that was in 1950. So I'm sure that the numbers are a little bit more than that nowadays. All right. That was 109 verses 53 to 65. We'll see you tomorrow for the last couple of verses for it. And then section 110.